I'm going to show you how to encrypt an external drive, uh, so like a USB drive or a um, uh, one of the USB sticks or, or something like that um, for a Mac. So I have this one I just got. It's called uh, it's a Lexar S45. Um, it's one of the really low profile ones. So I got it to uh, extend the space available on my Mac because you can see I only have a, a smaller um, drive. It's a 248, 250 gig, 256, something like that. Um, but so I got it to put some extra stuff on, but I want it to be encrypted in the event that um, it gets lost, so I'm protected. So if I right click, or I actually two fingers, uh, and I click on encrypt here, uh, so it'll ask me for a password. I'm gonna just use password right now. And click encrypt. So now this uh, error pops up. And so I Googled for this error, trying to figure out what, uh, was going on because I'm not really super techy about this stuff, and uh, I didn't. I found some stuff, but it was not very um, easy instructions to follow. So that's why I'm making this video. So basically, uh, the way to get around that is that you have to open up Disk Utility. So under Applications for me in Utilities, I have Disk Utility, and so now it'll show me about all the different. Um, disks that I have on my computer and the one that we care about here is this Lexar one and some of the instructions will tell you to click on partitions and blah 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 and it's kind of hard to find some of that um, and what I found is the easiest way is click on the Lexar the top level one not the actual drive so this is this is the physical disk and this is the virtual or the partition um, that's created on there. So you could have a couple of them. Now before you do this you want to make sure that you have uh, a backup of anything that's on here that's important to you or if you just got it like I did uh, I know it's empty so I don't really care. So you go back to the main drive uh, the physical disk and then I click erase. So the GUID is right here. That's what you want from the scheme because when you click this drop down currently with Apple selected, you can't have an encrypted one. So if you change it to GUID, now you can have an encrypted one. So by doing this, you're encrypting it at the same time. So I'm just going to type in my password that I want it to have. And I'm just using a temporary password. So, and I'm going to rename this to encrypted and then click erase. So this takes a few seconds, it doesn't take very long. It's chugging away just a little bit more. Now it's formatting the file system and it's probably a few more seconds here. Uh, depending on the speed of your computer and the size of the drive and stuff that might take uh, a little bit longer. but. So there it is, you can see it's done. So now, um, you can see under here, under partition map, uh, it says GUID, so that's what we needed. If I click on this, um, you know, it doesn't tell me a whole lot, but if we go back to the drive, it'll say decrypt, because I already encrypted it. Um, if I click on that, it will take quite a while. Since the drive is empty, it's much faster just to go to disk utilities here and erase it again if I wanted to. Uh, but so if I click on this and I say get info uh, is encrypted no okay so that's the physical drive let's say get info, info here is encrypted is yes so that's how you encrypt uh, an external drive for your Mac and uh, I hope this is helpful and makes it a little bit easier for you to uh, accomplish that thanks